Hello, I'm Jim Al-Khalili and I'm based in the Physics Department at the University of Surrey. I'll be delivering the Kelvin Lecture this year on the 18th of April at Savoy Place, London, home of the Institution of Engineering and Technology. The Kelvin Lecture is one of a number of prestige lectures organised each year by the IET. The title of my lecture is Life Quantum Mechanical. The subject of my lecture is the new emerging and speculative field of quantum biology. This is where quantum mechanics, that strange theory of the subatomic world, comes together with molecular biology to see whether some of these stranger features of how atoms and molecules behave, things like quantum tunneling, entanglement and quantum superposition, can play an important role inside the warm, messy, complex environment of the living cell. One of the most fascinating and interesting examples is the migration of the European robin. These birds travel south from Northern Europe to the Mediterranean each year by sensing the Earth's magnetic field. But they don't do this with some sort of built-in magnet or compass. Instead, light enters the bird's eye, stimulating proteins inside the retina. The photon knocks out an electron from an atom, but they remain what we say, what we call quantum entangled with their partner, even though they're far apart. And it's this correlation and the way they stimulate certain chemical reactions in the eye that somehow senses the Earth's magnetic field and the Earth sees the direction it's traveling through the magnetic field. Another area which I'm very interested in and carrying out my own research is to investigate whether quantum tunneling plays an important role in mutations of DNA. Within DNA, the way the two strands of the double helix are held together uh, are hydrogen bonds that are the, the, the rungs of the ladder, as it were. Within hydrogen bonds, protons, the nucleus of a hydrogen atom, can possibly quantum tunnel from one strand of DNA to the other. If this happens under certain circumstances, the DNA can mutate. This and other phenomena are now being investigated very seriously in this new, still speculative field of quantum biology. But I predict that in the next five, 10 years, it will become a respectable, fast-growing and exciting area of research that brings together physicists, chemists and biologists. I look forward to telling you more about some of these ideas in my lecture on the 18th of April and I also look forward to joining in with you in a discussion to explore some of them in more depth.